Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. So we're doing a video today and it's raining out, so we have an umbrella. Yeah, we gotta cover the camera. So that's how loyal we are to you guys to make sure you guys get your videos every week. So that's what we're talking about today. I gotta look at my notes. So, so this is what we're talking about. Inflation has cooled over the past two years. Eh, do I believe that? This is an article. I don't really believe it, but yeah. whatever. Let's play their game. So why does it hurt to buy groceries and gas? Inflation may have cooled, but the prices certainly didn't go down or cool <laughs> with the inflation. The inflation <laughs> cooled because it's not going up as fast. Right. So basically four years ago, you know, things were like, some things were like 50% cheaper. Some things were 20% cheaper, whatever. Right. Okay. So it didn't go back to those prices, but I could ask any of you guys out there and say, hey, did your income go up 20, 50%? Probably not. No. So the dollar is getting weaker. It gets weaker, 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 you know? So a lot of people are like, hey, you know, the only savings they have is money in the account. They don't have like some real estate or something that appreciates, you know? Right. So as inflation grows, the, the value of their money in the bank shrinks because it has less buying power. I'm not a financial guru, but it's just common That's basic. Just basic. It's, it's basic stuff. Common basic, yeah. basic stuff. So what we're going to discuss today is, okay, everything's great. You know, people think, you know, well, the media says everything's great. And inflation's cooling and you know, the feds are, you know, now they're pricing in a three quarters of a point uh, Fed cut in rate. We'll see. I'm not holding my breath. First they said a quarter, then the betting market said a half, now it says three quarters. But here's the deal with that, all right? If they do a rate cut of three quarters, they know that we're in trouble. <laughs> I don't care how you cut it, they know we're in trouble. Okay? They wouldn't, they wouldn't do such a drastic cut. Now, the employment numbers, they're like, hey, you know, we underestimated how many, we overestimated, I mean, we overestimated. How, how many jobs, Shops. how many jobs, you know, we have. So I was listening to them, it's like 800,000 or something like that. All right, that's kind of bull. I really do. I think, mm -hmm. you know, and I said it was bull before and I still don't trust the numbers. And I know I'm being kind of negative today, but it is what it is. And here's the other thing. I was listening to the news. Okay, and they said, well, for every one person unemployed, there's one and a half jobs available. All right, one and a half jobs for every one person that's looking for a job. But hmm. then they say, but you know, it needs to be skilled labor, you know, labor, you know? I said, but what kind of jobs? They have to be skilled. So they have to go back to school for a little while. Okay, no big deal, go back to school. But that costs money. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's the freaking stupidest. <laughs> Stupidest yeah. thing. And then so while you're in school, you're not working. Okay, I got it. So it's their, it's their I'm out of touch logic, I think. It, it is. I think, I think they're out of touch. So that's what we're talking about today. I really encourage comments below. Tell me if you're hurting. If you think like Florida, one of the worst states for freaking inflation. We had the highest inflation around. I know. I was, it was insane. I was, that kind of shocked me a little bit. People that are retiring in Florida, are leaving Florida to retire. They're going to places like Tennessee, right. Georgia, South Carolina. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. It's expensive. It's nuts. All right. You want to start us off? So, <clears throat> I've only got one hand today, and it's windy and rainy. <laughs> Inflation has come down, supposedly, from its peak. So why does it feel like we haven't? <laughs> Your voice is breaking. <laughs> I'm just like, this is such a... Like, it's hard to even say this. <laughs> it's like your voice is breaking. Read it again. It's like your voice is like crackling. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Inflation has come down from its peak. Why doesn't it feel like it has? On paper, inflation has lowered over the past two years. But go to the grocery store, fill up your car with gas, or go out to eat. And I doubt you feel... It's come down. All right, we kind of just talked about that. We did, but it's it's ridiculous. I went and bought a few things. I think it was two bags. That's it, two bags. Some lettuce, some tomato, onions, whatever I bought. 
and I did get a bottle of wine or two, and it was still, it was like 60 bucks. Yeah, it's, it, it, we went out the other day to eat just because we were, and it's, the price of food is through the roof, even when we go shop, you know, um, at the restaurant supply mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. um, I went there just to kind of see. Mm -hmm. Prices are up. So, you know, because it's where the, some of the restaurants get their, you know, the smaller restaurants, the more local types get their stuff because um, that's where we shopped at the fire department. And their prices are up. Everybody's prices are up right now. And it stinks. And I've noticed that when I go to restaurants, people aren't in there anymore like they used to be. It used to be crowded at the restaurants around my house, especially on like a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, peak times. And it's just not anymore. And, you know, people are struggling. People are struggling bad. Um, and the prices are going up and the restaurants are trying to stay afloat. Yeah, what do you guys you know? think? You guys are struggling where you guys are? So basically, where's the disconnect between the number of paper and the feelings you get with your stomach today when you go purchase something? I think the disconnect lies in the verbiage rhetoric used in economics to describe the difference. It's true. That's a true statement. Yep. Okay. The most uh, recent March 2024 CPI, Consumer Price Index Inflation Report, recently showed that inflation was up 3.5% from year to the prior year. 3.5%. That's up 0.4% from the month prior. So, inflation is still high. And I thought they weren't going to do any rate cuts until they got it, what, down 2%? 2% was what their target goal was, the CPI. I yeah. guess that's up because they're like, hey, jobs are more important. Well, and I remember um, uh, Powell said that, don't quote me, this is just more of a... a I think a, it says it here, too. Oh, did he? Okay. Well, it says, this, this is above the Federal Reserve 2% annual target for inflation, but down from its peak of 9.1% in June 2022. And that's the average. 9.1% was the average. Some things were up 40, 50%. Look at, look at right. cars. Look at, like, a friend of mine, wanted to go look at some pickup trucks okay oh man and we went there you know with the dealership and say oh that looks like a nice plain one and everything Eighty five thousand, ninety thousand, yeah seventy five thousand. and i'm like are you freaking kidding me it's expensive it's expensive right now it's just like who could afford to spend by the time you pay insurance registration taxes who could afford to spend ninety thousand dollars on a truck even if i had ninety thousand dollars I don't think I would do it. <laughs> Maybe I'm cheap, but I just wouldn't do it. So, it, what I, like what I was saying is <clears throat> that Powell basically said because of the, they were trying to hit that 2% mark that keeping interest rates elevated for an overly extended time is detrimental as well. Um, and that's probably why we're starting to see them back off of that bullish 2% number to try to get it down because it's just it doesn't see it just feels like it's not achievable right now even though things I, I, I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's achievable right now and they're really really scared about unemployment um, yeah they're they're scared because more and more people are losing you know are losing their jobs right I know a lot of people that have lost their freaking jobs. I know it's and it's scary, and and there's and then people that haven't necessarily lost their jobs yet are concerned about it. You know, people who we just did a video about, you know, people uh, canceling contracts on houses because they're not quite sure um, that they can get a job. I know I've actually talked to a few of my clients, and they had some of their job offers rescinded. Wow. because they were cutting back. They decided that they were gonna cut back. The company decided they were gonna cut back and they weren't bringing on any new people at this point. But not only that, but hey, listen, your industry too, mm -hmm. realtors, including home inspectors, but realtors, you know, we, we slowed down a little bit because so many oh, contracts yeah. are falling out. Yep. I called some of the realtors like, hey, I'm not in the business anymore. Hey, I'm not in the business anymore. I'm done, you know? And I'm like, damn. Yeah. I know it happens. It's sad. But it, you know, really you know is. what's interesting about that with the realtors? It's all the realtors that got in when it was like shooting fish in a barrel. When the, the majority, the, the, yeah, the COVID. A lot of them. Not all of them. I wouldn't say because I know a couple people that got in right around that time, and they are doing really, really well. Okay, but the but majority. The majority, because it was easy. It was easy, and now you know, with the new NAR suit and all that stuff, some old timers. Yeah, they're still plugging away and they're, they're adjusting, but yeah. it's not the way it used to be. Now you really, really have to work. It's like it used to be before COVID. 
because you had to work, if that makes sense. How many, you, how many realtors do you think are going to drop out of the industry, percentage-wise? I say about 40%. I was going to go for the 30 range, because I know a lot have already left. So that's kind of why. Now, I mean, you've got the normal retirement, per se, where they just, you know, they're just kind of not doing it anymore. Um, you know, but there's a staggering number of agents that don't do any deals a year, which that's, those are the people I think are going to evaluate whether or not it's worthwhile keeping their license. And we can't talk about inflation without talking about the price of the houses because that's inflation too. It is inflation. Okay. Some houses, the, the value went up 50% in three, four years. Right. Well, that was just, that was pretty much across the board at a lot of places. You right. Know? And then, I mean, we went up a lot, but we went up a little bit more than that, actually, just geographically, um, supply and demand, so that it raises the prices. That's why we have such an issue right now, because it was, it was this unicorn that just skyrocketed up these prices so high, so quick. Normally, you know, you see that three to five percent mm -hmm. rough, you know, two and a half, three, four, five percent increase yeah. year over year. That's what you want. Then you saw a 28% and then the next year a 30 you know, and it just kept climbing these crazy drastic numbers. People were willing to pay for it and the houses started getting appraised at it. And it's just, it was, it's a whole, it's, it's a mess. I'm sorry, but they, they, cause wages aren't keeping up with things. And it's, and it's not, it's not like, okay, the houses went up 50%. So now they're going to drop in price and they're going to drop 50%. They're not. It's not going to happen. It's, it's not. These people aren't going to, you know, there might be a lot of foreclosures because what's going to happen is, oh, I bought my house at the peak. I have to get, I call back to work or right. I need to sell because I lost my job or this. Oh, wait a second. I got to bring what? I got to bring $50,000 to the closing to get out of this house? Right. And that's what you, you see when I think, and I don't see a ton of foreclosures. Yeah. More than that we but we've been saying yet for a few years because i've i remember reading those articles but it's gonna it, it's gonna i think it's gonna continue to increase little by little not a giant you know tidal wave but i think we're gonna see it increase a little by little time will tell because of all the other factors like you just mentioned you know mm -hmm. people are getting recalled to work so now they're forced to sell their house right. because they have to go back so they the those met we're going back to normal you know increases in values, mm -hmm. you know, normal appreciation uh, levels. So, and this year we might even end up being flat, you know, or maybe even a little down. We, we'll have to see, you know, we're not quite, we got another quarter-ish to go. So that's what I see, but the insurance, everything else that's going along with it that's hurting people. And then if you were using a second job or overtime or something along those lines to help you offset costs and you got a little overextended, those are the, pro that's what I fear is going to happen because of the job losses and things because of the inflation you know because companies are cutting back i mean look at some of the fast food restaurants and even um like my Publix. my Publix has got the yeah uh, you, don't speed have, lanes. you don't have yeah that's weird because my Publix has cashiers yeah I don't, but I, I went to another one that was really cool in saint augustine and it was all self-serve yeah that's like i have i have six self-serve lanes in mine, and it takes it only takes two employees to run those six spots. Yeah, so they're so they're not hiring as many people. Right. Like California screwed up. I'll tell you where they screwed up. And I know I brought this up before. They screwed up when they said, "Hey, fast food workers, you're getting paid twenty dollars an hour." I know people deserve to get twenty dollars right. an hour. They work hard. It's a tough job. Don't beat me up for that. <laughs> but here's what happens: the either the price of the goods goes up, or they'll get a machine to replace you. Right. Or they'll do the same amount of work with less people. Yeah. It's common, common sense. You have to let the free market control how much. This is my opinion. I know that. But it's like some of the basic freaking. Put, let's talk about Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was talking to my cousin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he, he lives in a really nice area, you know, in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Mm -hmm. Really nice restaurant. Manages it. You know, does a hell of a job. I went there to go eat. Sit down and said, dude, I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. And they're like, yeah, I know, we're, we're short-staffed. I was like, hire more people. It's not like you don't have enough customers. Right. He says, the problem is this. Things got so expensive in the area that the servers can't afford to live here. 
Right, so they have to drive in. So they have to drive in, and it's not worth it for them to drive in because it's too far in traffic and where we're located. <sighs> yep. That is what is happening. It's happening more and more and more. So yeah, things are too, and at the end of the day, something's gonna break. I think it's broken now, and I think we're in a recession now. And just because we redefine what a recession is doesn't mean that we're not in one, you know what I mean? Listen, like, when, when I go to the supermarket and I'm like, I know a couple of people that are using their credit cards to to buy groceries, and then they're not paying it off at the end of the month. I use my credit card to buy groceries, but I pay it right. off at the end of the month, but these people don't. Yeah, right, they, because like, they need to. I, I was with somebody and i like, what are you doing? They're like, oh, I'm just calling this credit card to see how much balance I have left on the back of it. I'm like, why? Like, I want to go get groceries, and I have $110 right. balance. That's sad. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying it's the person's fault, and I feel for them. But things got so expensive that that $110 is not going to go that far. It doesn't go that far. <laughs> I'm getting wet, rained on, because obviously I love doing videos. <laughs> but that's today's video. If you have nothing to add, do me a favor, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And watch this video. I picked it just for you guys. We appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank Thanks. you. Bye.